Um, good afternoon. So this is William Scott and today I will be presenting you with the Scott Family Ancestry Projects by myself, William Scott. Um, so first of all, we have my mother, Sandra Donnell Scott. Um, she was born Sandra Donnell Riles on October 5th of 1968 and she was born in Braddock Hospital. She lived in Rankin, PA until she was around 13 years old. And in 1981, she moved to Braddock where she lived and she lived there for about 16 years. Um, she worked as a cashier at a Giant Eagle in Braddock, Hill, in Braddock Hills in the year 1986. And um, between being a cashier and moving into nursing, she took a secretarial course at CCAC in Braddock. So um, that transitioned into 1988, where she worked at Pittsburgh's Nursing Services, which was a temp agency where they placed people for jobs. And through the temp agency, she started working for West Penn Hospital in 1989 as a patient access coordinator which is just essentially customer service. So she sets up the appointments for all the, for all the patients. And um, in 1991, she met my dad, William Scott Jr. at a bar called The Place to Be. And in 1998, she married my dad and moved to the Hill District where I now live, where uh, all my family lives for that matter. And she had my sister and I in 2003 and 2005 respectively. And she still works at West Penn Hospital, just now it's called Allegheny Health Network. And here's a picture of my family. The one in the middle right there is my mother. Um, so next, we're just gonna be working backwards here. So there was my grandma, Ophelia Lee Riles. She was born Ophelia Lee Campbell in September 28th of 1935 in McKeesport Hospital. And she grew up in Duquesne, Pennsylvania, just a small town. Um, and in 1946, her family moved to Rankin, Hawkins Village. Um, it was just first built, so they just decided to move there. That would be a nice place. And um, at 18 years old, she married my grandpa. And um, around this time, she started working at cleaning people's houses for money. She was mostly just like a stay-at-home mom, though. She didn't really have too much of a job. The, really, the only one she had, like, like as far as an actual job outside of just a house, was in the early 80s, she started working for Eastern Area Adult Services. So that was just essentially a service where they worked to take care of elderly people. And um, in the mid 90s, she quit her job to care for my cousin, Eddie. He's like around mid 20s, I think now, um, since his dad had passed away at the time. And she just became a stay at home mom after that. And she never worked much outside of the house. And um, in the early 2000s, she moved to Swissdale Towers where she still currently resides. So next will be my grandpa, James Calvin Riles. He was born December 21st of 1932 in Braddock in Pittsburgh. He grew up in Rankin. Presumably he moved there at some point. Uh, my grandma couldn't really remember at one point he moved there. He actually was in the US Army, like he was in the service um, starting somewhere in the late 1940s. He was a veteran of the Korean conflicts and he quit the service in the late 50s to early 60s. Um, so just a fun fact, the only reason my grandma actually knew when he quit the army was because that was when, around the time she was pregnant with my aunt, who's around 60 right now. She also mentioned how he used to send her money back home to support the family, even though he was away. And he died on February 24th of 1991 due to a form of cancer. So next would be my great grandpa, Frank Campbell. He was born April 12th, 1901. He was the first generation not to be originally from Pittsburgh, PA. He was actually born in North Carolina. So that just loops back to the theme of like these former Confederate states due to like all the slavery they had. They're mostly populated by um, African-Americans and just like minorities in general. Um, he moved to Duquesne, um, Pennsylvania in the mid twenties, uh, the same place where my grandma was living. Um, he worked at a steel mill from 1925 to 1937. 
and he met my grandma, Odessa Doggett, in 1935, and they married in 1937. And they settled down in Rankin, Pennsylvania, where they lived until he died um, sometime around 1945. And finally, we have my great grandma, Odessa Campbell. She was born Odessa Doggett on January 17th of 1918. She was also a part of the first generation of my family to not originally be from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. She was actually um, originally from Virginia. Um, it's not entirely clear what city, but it was most likely from Chase City, just because according to my grandma, she had um, other siblings that were born there. So that's just the most, what, most likely um, scenario. Um, when my grandma was still a baby, she moved from um, my great grandma moved from Virginia to Duquesne in Pennsylvania and later on to Rankin. And uh, just based on my grandma still being a baby, the move likely occurred sometime in the late 30s because that was around the time that my grandma was born. Um, so Odessa, she never actually had an actual job. She was just a stay-at-home mom slash housewife from the late 30s to the late 40s, uh, probably just like due to the time period and just the expectations of women at the time and let alone African-American women. Um, she was in and out of the hospital due to unknown illness, so that also contributed to her staying at home most of the time. And she died when my grandma was around 13 to 15 years old, so sometime between 1948 and 1951. And this is just like a picture of Chase City, Virginia, around the time that my, my great grandma was alive. And that will conclude the presentation on the Scott ancestry, so thank you.